Hey guys, it's Will, it's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you could subscribe, that would be a huge help. Thank you so much. It's the laundry room. I'm back in the laundry room. Oh yeah. It's another laundry room video. I hope you like my song that I just improvised about the laundry room. I am sitting in this weird ass short chair and it just feel weird sitting in this chair. So I keep moving and bouncing and stuff like that. So what are we here to talk about today? Eureka! Holy hell! This video is late, I have to say. It's like a week late because I was sick as shit last week. I had one of the worst colds I've ever had last week. Like, I was just sweating and disoriented and, like, exhausted. I'm still actually pretty tired, which you probably can't tell after my manic explosion in the beginning of this video. <laughs> I'm trying to get my energy up to get through this video, but I am so, so, so freaking excited. Hell to the yes. I'm pre-ordering the shit out of this. All of the things I always say. It's Jackie Chan! It's the Police Story films. Eureka is giving us a Police Story trilogy. The first three films, which is Police Story 1, Police Story 2, Police Story 3, slash Super Cup, on 4K Ultra HD, September 26th of 2022. It is a box set and hell to the mother effing yes. Now, I don't have a 4K player. But that doesn't mean that I'm not excited as hell about the fact that this exists. Let me tell you what's on this bad boy. Limited edition hard case. 4,000 copies. Limited edition hard case featuring new artwork by Kung Fu Bob. It's Kung Fu Bob working with Eureka on a Please Story trilogy box. Just buy the fucking box. Even if you can't play the movies, buy the box for Kung Fu Bob. 4K... UHD Blu-ray presentations of all three films across three Ultra HD Blu-ray discs in Dolby Vision. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty fucking awesome. Reversible sleeve artwork for each film featuring limited edition individual sleeve designs by Kung Fu Bob. They, this is just like all the bells and whistles. They are pulling out all the stops. They're like, we are going to give you the most badass Jackie Chan box set that all the fans have been clamoring for. I mean, this is what people wanted from Criterion. They're like, why isn't Police Story in here? It had to do with the licensing. Eureka has gotten the license for Super Cop. It's all three films. Yeah, so let's keep going. A 100-page Perfect Bound collector's book featuring essays by James Oliver on each film as well as archival materials, imagery, and ephemera, worldwide UHD debuts for all three films, and the first time Police Story 3 Super Cop has ever been available or has been available on home video in the UK since the VHS era. This is a big, big moment. Disc 1, Police Story 4K. Um, so what we get here is, uh, there is a 1080p HD presentation of the alternate police force export cut of the film, which is 88 minutes long. It has the Hong Kong version with the original Cantonese mono, as well as optional restore to 5.1 DTS HD MA Hong Kong theatrical classic English dub. The Hong Kong theatrical version, brand new audio commentary from Frank Jang and FJ DeSanto. Hell yes. Yeah. So FJ DeSanto has sent me so many Jackie Chan DVDs over the years since I've started this channel. So if you've seen any of my unboxings of, of Hong Kong DVDs, especially Jackie stuff, then you'll know who he is. He's a friend of Frank's. He's a friend of Rick Myers. He introduced me to both of them. He is the coolest person in the world. He came in, when I interviewed Frank in person, FJ lives in LA. He came and hung out with us and we had lunch together and stuff like that. And he's a, he's the showrunner of the the Netflix Transformers show. I believe he is currently producing a Shane Black film. He knows Richard Donner, rest in peace, who directed the Lethal Weapon films, who directed the original Superman movie. Like, F.J. DeSanto is, like, the real deal OG Jackie Chan fan. So he's not only a huge super fan of Jackie Chan, who's been watching his movies since the mid-'80s. He's also a movie producer, a writer, and everything like that. So he has multiple points of insight into Jackie's film. So I'm so excited about that commentary track. Um, brand new audio commentary with action cinema experts Mike Leader and Arna Venema. Police Force version. Optional or option of either the classic English dub track or the rare alternate audio track featuring the original Cantonese audio mixed with the Kevin Basson Basson score. Newly revised English subtitles, archival interview with Jackie Chan, which is 19 minutes, alternate and deleted scenes, archival Jackie Chan stunts promo, trailers. 
including the original theatrical and the export trailer, Please Story 2. We have the extended cut of the film, 121 minutes. I really like that version. Some people don't. I really do. Then you have the Hong Kong version, which is 105 minutes. And then you have the 95-minute alternate export version. So there are three versions of Police Story 2 on here. I love Police Story 2. I know that some people don't. I love that movie. And if you watch this channel, you'll know that. And I, I would say that I like that movie just as much as I like the first one. And there have been times in my life when that was my favorite Jackie Chan movie. Um, you get the original Cantonese mono audio as well as the optional restored... 5.1 DTS extended version. You get the English dub presented in a restored um, 5.1 DTS HD MA extended version. Uh, brand new audio commentary with Asian film experts Frank Zheng and FJ DeSanto. And then on the extended version, you get commentary with Mike Leader and Arna Venema. And then on the Hong Kong theatrical, there's Cantonese mono. And on the Hong Kong theatrical, there's an archival audio commentary with Miles Wood and Jude Poyer. On the export version, there's a classic English dub track on the newly with newly revised English subtitles. Jackie Chan episode of the Son of the Incredibly Strange Film Show, 41 minutes. This is on the Criterion release, and this is one of my favorite Jackie Chan bonus features ever. Like, top three. It's like this. It's the, the behind-the-scenes Japanese thing, the documentary that's on Heart of Dragon from 88 Films. And it's the... Um, that really long interview with Jackie that I believe was on Armor of God. These are like my favorite Jackie Chan bonus features ever. Uh, it's a documentary on on Jackie that was produced in the UK. It's about, like I said, 41 minutes. Archival interview with actor and stuntman Benny Lai, which is 15 minutes, outtakes, trailer, and then disc three. Police story three, super cop. Um, you get the Hong Kong theatrical cut at 96 minutes long. You get the U.S. alternate cut at 91 minutes long. You get the original Cantonese mono audio as well as the optional alternate Cantonese audio track featuring the original unaltered sound effects. That's on the um, Hong Kong theatrical. Also on the Hong Kong theatrical, brand new Cantonese Dolby Atmos surround sound audio. Also on Hong Kong uh, theatrical, you get the uh, classic English dub and you get a new commentary with Frank and FJ DeSanto and you get a new commentary with Mike Leader and Arna Venema. And on the US version, you get the American dub which is the American English version, which has Jackie and Michelle Yeoh doing their own voices. And then you get the U.S. version, uh, original Cantonese on that. And then you get newly translated English subtitles, brand new interview with stunt coordinator and action film historian John Krang. Hell yeah. J John Krang is awesome. His interview, he has two interviews on the 88 films release of The Master. And those are both fantastic. And I have since gotten in touch with him. And I like, I, I really want to interview him, but I just haven't found the time yet because my life is so chaotic and busy right now. But he's a really nice guy and he lives in LA too so I want to do like an in-person interview but like I've exchanged a lot of messages with him and emails and stuff like that and he's so friendly and he knows so much about these films and he was in them he did stunt coordination he did fight core he's he has literally written a textbook on fight choreography like literally has written a textbook so he's just he's awesome and he's so friendly but he also he knows so much so I'm really excited about that um new featurette on rarely seen Jackie Chan video games. Yes, so this was made by Arna Venema. I know about this because Arna sent it to me. This is um, something that I think they made in collaboration with Mix Mag Asia, and it's a documentary about these really violent video games that were made, I believe, in Japan based on Jackie. It's really, really cool. Yeah, Arna, so I've seen this before. Arna has sent this to me. Um, a new featurette on filming the locations, or on the filming locations of the Police Story trilogy. Archival interview with Jackie, 20 minutes. Archival interview with Michelle Yeoh, 23 minutes. Archival interview with director Stanley Tong, 20 minutes. Archival interview with Jackie's longtime bodyguard and co-star Ken Lo, 21 minutes. Outtakes, 50 minutes. Holy shit. Wow. So that drops September 26, 2022. That's the kind of thing where, like, I don't have a 4K player. I might just go buy one so that I can watch that. That is the most amazing mega, I think, Jackie Chan announcement that has happened since I've started this channel. And I, these are, like, my favorite Jackie movies, and I'm beside myself with excitement. But guess what? Eureka said, that's probably not enough for one day to release. Let's put out something else. And they are putting out Police Story 3 Super Cop as a standalone Blu-ray. So if you don't have the 4K player, and if you've already got the first two films, you can get Super Cop. This comes out the same day 
September 26, 2022, I am going to pre-order the shit out of this. It is a limited edition slipcase featuring new artwork by Darren Wheeling, which is limited to 3,000 copies, reversible sleeve artwork featuring new and original poster artwork. I want them both because I want all the artwork. I want the Kung Fu Bob artwork so badly, but I want the Darren Wheeling one too. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hoard them all. 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray of the original Hong Kong theatrical cut, 96 minutes from a brand new 4K restoration of the original film elements, limited edition set of lobby cards, 3,000 cuts, limited to 3,000. Um, and then you get the 1080p presentation of the alternate US version, 91 minutes. You get the all the original language plus the hybrid stuff that I talked about before on the on the 4K box set is on on there um along with that atmos track and you get the classic english dub and then you get the commentaries from fj and um frank you get the commentary from mike and arnima you get the uh mike and arna the american english dub track um I think it's basically all the same. Yeah, it's all the same bonus stuff that's on that 4K UHD disc. Plus, you get a limited edition collector's book booklet featuring a new new writing by James Oliver, as well as archival materials, imagery, and ephemera. So again, all of that is limited to the 3000 one, all that the extras, bells and whistles there, and stuff like that. But um uh, I, I mean, this is just mind blowing and incredible and I'm beside myself and I don't know what else to say. You know I love Jackie Chan. I honestly I'm I'm on the verge of like doing my official ranking of my 10 favorite Jackie movies and all three of these films are on there and to be perfectly honest with you first strike is on the short list too I made a list of 15 and I've got to trim it and I'm like do I do 10 and then five honorable mentions that's too many I should I should keep it to two or three honorable mentions because five I feel like it's just too many I don't know let me know in the comments if you think that five is too many honorable mentions but but I will be doing eventually my list of my 10 favorite Jackie films now that I have the project a um, blu-ray from Eureka and I'm gonna rewatch those films because I love those movies so much I gotta figure out where to rank them because it's been a while since I've seen them so it's the 4k UHD box set police story trilogy plus super cop standalone blu-ray that is releasing september 26th of 2022 from eureka these are the the blu-ray is a region b release 4k i don't think have region encoding but um there you go my name is willis is hong kong cinema appreciation society i thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time